Read it. Did I want to speak to you concerning Abdullah, the master magician? And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I want you to understand that you also, that you are a magician, but you must become a master magician. And it will take discipline. And it will also take you being consistent if you want to be a master magician. Now, for example, you look at sportsmen and women all around the world. And you will see that it takes discipline and practice, daily practice, for them to reach their highest level of performance and being the star that they are. And for that, them to really accomplish that, they have to believe in the power that is within themselves. So, all of us on this planet, we are actually magicians, okay? And there are many magical books that have been written teaching us how to use our magic power. And this power is what will turn water into wine. It is what would take the invisible and make it visible. It is saying it's a power of transmutation. It's a power of transform, transformation. So it's a transformative power that I'm referring to as your magic power. Now, many people get caught up with words. For example, if I say that most people believe in a Lord and a Savior, and they believe that he was a healer, nobody would disagree with me. But if I say he was a master magician, they're going to say, no, I am wrong, I am brainwashed, I am deceived. Moreover, if I, if I say to them that there is no such a man who existed thousands of years ago with this special power, that this power is in each and every one of us, and that the, the power that you use to solve problems. For example, it tells you that there were, were those who couldn't see and those who couldn't hear, and they were made to see and they were made to hear. That is you solving problems. That is you being a problem solver. Okay? And so, when you realize that you're on this earth to solve problem, problems, I should say, you realize that you born with a certain gift. And you have to find that gift. And it's only until you find that gift you would live a purposeful life. So whatever you want to do, you have to learn to master your mind by being in control of your mind. You have to learn to understand also that you need to learn and master of your destiny because it is your own thoughts that are creating your reality and creating your personality. Therefore, you have to take responsibility for your life. There's no one to blame and there's no one to change. That is why you can't go wrong trying to change the world. You can only go wrong using your gift. And your gift will reach those who are on the same vibration and frequency like you. Because you see, everything is based on energy, vibration and frequency. But most people are unaware that they are actually a mass of energy. And they vibrate on frequencies. Okay? And that is why many people try to look for a savior outside of themselves. And that is why also many people tend to judge others without understanding that there are so many different states of mind or states of consciousness. And that you can fall into a certain state of consciousness a certain state of mind if you do not guard and, and, and protect your mind. And that is why you have to be the policeman of your thoughts by being more of a mindful thinker because you understand that thoughts become things. You understand that you're a magician. Whether 
you're doing your magic consciously or unconsciously. But every one of us on this planet, we are actually magicians. So, my brother, my sisters, my encouragement to you is to be a conscious creator, be a deliberate creator, be a master magician, and use your one because your word is your one. Every word is also a spell. And that is why when you desire the good things in this life, you have to cast the good spell. Because the good spell, are the, are what they refer to as the gospel, is actually the good news. That is why you have to tell yourself the good news because your word is your one. So you have to speak the things that are good, the things that are lovely, the things that are pure, the things that are true, the things that have brought you in them. You have to speak those things over your life. And there's no place for mediocrity. There's no place for mental slavery. There is no place for scarcity. Okay, and so you cannot give me a God outside of myself that will keep me in poverty and mental slavery and mediocrity and keep me superstitious and religious and making me believe that there is virtue in poverty when I supposed to be live in abundance and prosperity. Because you look around and you see nature, nature reflects abundance and prosperity as a matter of fact we are living in a magical world of abundance you see when you do not discover your magical self you wouldn't see how magical the world is because you, you you wouldn't realize that you're living in a world of abundance there's so much to go wrong and 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 and, and there, 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 there is more than enough for everyone okay so people want to go to heaven and think they're gonna eat uh honey and drink milk in heaven but here's where you get that milk and honey when you know that you can purchase without money because you understand that you are a magician and you understand that money is energy and you use that energy to create your life whichever way you want it to be so my brother my sisters practice the things that you must practice like visualization and meditation and scripting and journaling and mirror work and so on. Do all of these things daily, especially when you're about to go to bed. And first thing when you wake up in the morning and affirm your life whichever way you want it to be. And you prove for yourself that you're a magician. And as you continue to grow and prosper and expand, then you will grow into becoming a master magician. So when you read of the Savior, it is the power that is within you that will make you a master magician and you're able to save yourself and others because you tap in to your gift. You tap in to what you've been called on this earth to do. So make your life a purposeful life on this planet okay so i can go on and on but i'm gonna come to a close and i want to say to you if this is the very first time that you listen to me what i'm saying if it really makes sense to you if it really resonates with you and you have a subscriber already i'm definitely going to subscribe to comment uh to share this video also if you like to follow me on instagram i like to follow me on tiktok you can definitely follow me at black mad guru and if you like to grab a hold of my work i'll definitely encourage you to get my secret vagina the mystery of the virgin birth because that will help you to understand you know the immaculate conception and how you can create your life whichever way you want it to be if you understand the bible on all three levels like the physical level the psychological level and the spiritual level which means if you understand the bible esoterically and metaphysically and psychologically you will be able to know that the kingdom of god is within you so i definitely encourage you to get a book and also to get spiritual recipe for better living and, and my other books also if you like to be a part of my Patreon community, you're most welcome. And I have a course that's called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. And along with that is a bonus course on self-concept. And that is for people doing it in 20 or more dollars. But whatever you need, I would definitely encourage you to kindly check all of the links that are down below. And let your intuition lead you and guide you into what to do. So that being said, I just want to say peace. Love you all. Um, out.